going on everybody it's nick here back with another video as you see in the thumbnail i'm going to be doing an unboxing and install of my new mgw short throw shifter for my new edge mustang uh, i decided to go with mgw i looked at steeda triaxle sr performances version uh, as well as a purse short throw shifter but i decided to go with mgw they make the specific shifters per order it's not sitting on the shelf gathering dust it's specifically for my car that's why uh, uh it's one reason why i like them there's a lot of good reviews a lot of people are saying that there's good quality with these shifters and uh, i figured i'd give them a shot and put it on here as you know these new edges with their i have the 3650 transmission on my o2 here and i know there's a t45 in the uh earlier days uh they're very clunky and it just doesn't shift very smooth and you don't have a lot of confidence especially second third gear and reverse so hopefully this is gonna fix a few of the issues that i'm not happy with with the standard stock transmission so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing and then we'll get to the install on this bad boy stock shifter first second third fourth fifth Gaskets, RTV silicone, got the standard shift knob. Uh, you can have a choice between three shift knobs. I'll explain to that here in a little bit. I have my uh, hardware and also my new shift ball. And I love this shift ball. I'll show it to you guys here in one second. adapter between the shifter and the handle which I think looks looks fantastic but it's going to be hidden by my shift boot anyway and last but not least the actual uh, MGW shifter all right guys so here's the contents what's within the box of course you're gonna have your shifter here nicely uh, made very good quality I think it looks great comes with the um, <clears throat> the adapter that goes on top of the actual shifter between the boot and the handle goes in this particular spot and you fasten all that in there put this on top handle on top pretty simple comes with your typical hardware now I got this as I said as I got the standard handle there's a uh, comfort standard and race comfort without looking at the website 25% less throw standard I got is 30% less a throw and then the race is 35% less uh, of a throw uh, a lot of people get the race I mean these are only $15 you can buy them uh, so if I don't like the standard I could go to the race uh, I figure since I want to you know drive this car and cruise around I'm not going to be slapping on that on the slapping them gears too much but you know once in a while if you know what i mean i want to have fun too but i want to be a little comfortable comes with a uh gasket that marries between the shifter and the top of the transmission if you don't want to use that then you can use the uh silicone instead and it comes with this uh, little tube you can put right on there assuming they just leave that discretion up to us <clears throat> little insulation slash uh, dust cover uh, which is which is great you know they, they threw this in there because they want it to be even better than what Ford gives you and that's obviously why I chose to go with them guys I'm going to be doing a quick transmission fluid change the reason being is the uh, the actual drive shaft yoke under there 
uh, was leaking transmission fluid when I got it and it was leaking under the body of my car. So uh, it was leaking for a while and then it leaked again after it was fixed, but it stopped. I got it taken care of. So I couldn't tell you how much transmission fluid actually got out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, quick change of that. All right, guys, so if you see right there, it's a 3 8 drive on the bottom of the transmission is all you need. You know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Just be sure when you loosen that, you have something to catch. All right guys, so you wanna start off by twisting the OEM shifter off. Alright guys, so now you need a 10 millimeter ratchet to get the OEM shifter handle off. I put it in fourth gear so it's stable and it's not going to be moving around on me. Alright, once you have those two bolts on, shifter will come right off. Alright guys, next you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket on an extension. There's one, two, three. All right, once you got all four bolts out, now you're gonna take the, uh, the shifter dust boot off. All righty. Now what we have is the original OEM shifter on there, and it's disgusting. So now I'm gonna take these, I believe these are 13 on there, uh, four bolts off. So here's the shifter, it's disgusting, and uh, we're going to have to take these uh, four bolts off. So next what you want to do is you can use a paper towel or a rag, you want to put this on the inside of your transmission here to stop any debris. From falling into uh, inside of it, and you want to get a get a scraper. Um, this one's plastic. Some people use uh, razors, but that could cut the metal and uh, create leaks. So, the purpose for scraping off the old gasket is when you put either the or the gasket material. When you put the new gasket or the RTV on it, you want to make sure that it does marry properly with the transmission alrighty guys so what I, I got a funnel here and I just I just have it down in the open part of the transmission like I said earlier in the video um, I had a yoke gasket transmission leak between the drive shaft and the transmission when I got this it was flinging transmission fluid under the body of uh, the Mustang so I did not know how much fluid was left or how old it was Everyone has their various choices. I'm, I'm going to be using Mobile One Synthetic ATM here. And, uh, once I get this in here, then I'm, we're going to slap the shifter back on. All right, guys, so I chose not to use the gasket that came with it. I know some people do, but I've seen some people try to put this on top of their transmission and the holes don't line up perfectly. So I'm afraid if you chew into one of these four holes, it could cause an issue. I really don't know, so I don't feel like confident with that. So I'm gonna go with the RTV silica. So what you wanna do is do a, a good amount. MGW says liberal amount. After you get the RTV on there, put the uh, plastic cap that was on the original shifter onto the new one. And you wanna easily put, put this on top of the transmission. Make sure you use MGW's bolts. Make sure the smooth one goes on last so the smooth part meets with the top of the new shift. Okay, guys, start in a star pattern, getting the shifters four bolts down. 
All right, guys, so I got the shifter on there, the uh, four bolts. So now we need to put the uh, dust boot back on, put that on. Then we put the uh, shifter arm assembly and then the uh, shifter arm. All right, here are the throws now. Well, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Alright guys, well this will conclude the video today. My final result, just driving it for a few miles here is, this is a great investment. This is top notch quality, night and day difference. Uh, I, I would urge for you guys to get a, at least a short throw shifter. Uh, I would go with MGW based upon my experience with it and just based upon all of the good reviews and how well they're uh, backed by their quality so I have more parts for the car in my garage right now so I actually have more videos coming up more content on the way I really appreciate you guys stopping by uh, I'm hoping maybe this channel can take off if it doesn't that's okay this is fun for me and I really enjoy working on this car and uh, doing videos. So if you guys uh, want me to continue doing what I'm doing, you know, like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.